I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what how to open paste load event in ASP.NET. So in my last video today, I discussed about button constructor. So see right here, this is the button constructor. So by using a uh, button constructor, I create one button. Now here after, let's see how to open a uh, paste load event. So in my last video, right here, you should check this one using button constructor in ASP.NET. Now here after, so this is right here. So this is selected dot ASPX. Now here, if you click uh, this point, so right here you get ASPX dot CS. Now, so right here, if you click there, so here you know, it's open page load event. Now here after, I'm going to use this page load event. So right here, uh, let's copy this one. So either you can write uh, this code at this place or you can uh, use uh, this code at here inside there. So let's paste there. Now here after this is not required. And here after we need I'm going to uh, paste this code at this place. So at here I'm getting the error message because this patch uh, doesn't has a uh, button click event now here after let's paste there so now all the error out so at here now it's like uh, it's look quite simpler and here going to this is not required a script so it's the head section uh, open and close and here at this place i used placeholder with the name id and here run server and here so this is the place so it's all at here estimate tags except this one so this all on estimate tags and here this is the csr programming so csr programming at here page load event now if you execute this so if you execute this so at here it's a two button it's a open now click me so if i click at here button constructor so there, if I click uh, apply on click me, so see right here, uh, it's a click me, then right here, button click event that fire. Now suppose if I uh, right here click again, so uh, it's a display turn. That means uh, right here, load complete event that fire. Now here after the next thing is, I'm going to explain this code one more time. So right here, uh, this is the uh, button constructor. So I created object of button class B1 with the help of new keyword and button constructor. And here setting the text property click me. And here uh, beyond dot click. So add here new event handler. So this is used to handle the event. So add here that found button click. Now that start searching at here. Where is the button click? So uh, this place this uh, go. Now here after button constructor, so this uh, value that uh, uh, go to the LBR for text. So at here, so that uh, if I execute, so if uh, if I execute here, then if I click, so click me. So this things, this this the level control there, uh, level text at this point or uh, display button constructor tutorial. Uh, or here after the next is. After our uh, compression, this now control comes to this point. So, add here that font uh, load complete event. Now, here after control comes to this point. So, uh, add here text property. It's now when I click a uh, uh, button, so text property now changed to turn. So, this is the way we can either we can write this all those things on as dot. So we can write at here dot aspx or paste or we can also use at here separate or uh, at this place. So by default, uh, if you open any controls, suppose if I'm going to open this control, okay, not okay. Let's double click. So this is the vb at here. Now at here, let's uh, select this one. So at here, you can find dot cs. So at here, this is the place. There you used to write at your page load code. So when the page load, then whatever the statements, whatever the codes are there, according to that to program that work.
so these are the things here you know so here you should use uh, either you can write this all code at this place so the thing is here or uh, mainly used this uh, mainly used for uh, what uh, this mainly used for HTML tags and this is for csop dot cs means csop so at here or uh, this now here after suppose if i'm going to use uh, this uh, in uh, dot cs extension so let's see what happened so this is the cx now here after i'm going to paste this so at here let's execute that so see at here it's a uh, giving red signal that means so uh, there is uh, uh, some error that means the so, uh, estimate tags like uh, title you cannot use inside dot cs extension but at here or uh, we can use at here protected void like this kind of things at this place so i hope guys this video is uh, helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you